Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The morning star returns and the moon shows you Saturn. Hey there, Stargazers, I'm Chris Trigg. An old crescent moon and the prettiest planet, Saturn, will put on quite a show in the pre-dawn skies next week. Plus, the morning star will reappear. Let me show you. Okay, we're facing east Wednesday, November 3rd, before dawn. And if you can drag your lazy bones out of bed, you'll be able to see a beautiful, very thin crescent moon low in the eastern sky. Down to its left, you'll find the ringed planet Saturn, which not that long ago was in the western sky at sunset. The next day, Thursday the 4th, the moon will be even thinner and down to the right of Saturn. Saturn is an amazing object and even a small telescope. Many professional astronomers will tell you they can still remember the first time they saw the rings of Saturn when they were kids. Saturn is the second largest planet in our sun's family, measuring about 75,000 miles across its middle. It's one of four planets that astronomers call gas giants. Saturn is not a solid rocky planet like our Earth, but has a rocky core surrounded by tens of thousands of miles of gas. In fact, Saturn's density is so low that if you could find a big enough tub of water, Saturn would float in it. Its rings are about as wide as two Jupiters. The rings are mostly water ice and reflect a lot of light from the sun. Recent space probes have sent back so many images of Saturn in the rings that it's sometimes hard to remember that it wasn't that long ago that we knew very little about them. When Galileo first saw Saturn through his small telescope, he thought Saturn might be a triple planet. We now know Saturn is mostly hydrogen and, like Jupiter, radiates more energy into space than it gets from the Sun. Saturn is a favorite target of amateur astronomers, with telescopes large and small. The view of Saturn will actually get better over the next few years, as its rings will appear to get wider through 2017. There will probably be a flood of UFO reports starting next week as the morning star makes its appearance in the pre-dawn sky. Now, you may remember that we had an evening star that was seen in the evening sky all summer long. Now we have a morning star, and could it be that the evening star and the morning star are the same object? Well, yes, such is the case. Indeed, the name we now give the morning star and the evening star is the name the Romans gave it, Venus. And although our ancestors thought Venus was a star, we now know that it's an 8,000 mile wide Earth-sized planet. All summer long, Venus was to the east of the sun as seen from the Earth, and was visible as the evening star in the west after sunset. It sank lower each night throughout September, and then finally disappeared below the horizon. Then, on October 27th, it passed directly between our Earth and Sun and rapidly moved to the west of the Sun and is now visible as the morning star rising in the east before sunrise. Venus is the brightest planet because Venus reflects the most light of any planet in our solar system. Why? Well, Venus is completely enshrouded by a brilliant cloud cover which acts like a giant 8,000 mile wide mirror that reflects much more sunlight back to Earth than say Mercury or Mars. But there's something else fascinating about Venus. You see, when you look at Venus through a telescope, it will look like a skinny crescent moon. Why is this? Well, just like our Earth and Moon, one side of Venus is always lit by the Sun, and one side is dark. We're now looking mostly at Venus's night side, while its day side is facing away from us. As Venus moves in its orbit, it will rapidly change from a crescent, and will also get smaller as it moves away from us in its orbit. So, see the crescent moon and Saturn in the morning sky on November 3rd and 4th, and watch Venus reappear and dominate the morning sky throughout November. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95. Bye-bye. <laughs>